Michael Osterholm is the director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. That's in Minneapolis. Uh, doctor, good morning. You know, there are a lot of people right now who are worried. Good morning. Have I been exposed? Have I not been exposed? So to that question, how long does it take from exposure to the moment when they feel some sort of a symptom? And what do they do then? Well, first of all, most people likely will feel some symptoms, even if they're mild, as you just described. Uh, and that usually occurs between four to five days after you've actually uh, been exposed to the virus. But and some people feel no symptoms, right, uh, doctor? I mean, and, and, and can still actually spread this. Well, there's two different pieces to that. The first one is, uh, will I shed the virus or basically uh, expose others before I get sick? And the data now are quite compelling that, yes, that does occur a day or two at least before you have any symptoms at all, you're infectious. So during that time period, none of us would even know that we're transmitting it or that we're with someone who is infected. Uh, then there's the second question you're asking, do some people just not ever have any symptoms? And we're sure, sure that that happens, but I think it's uh, one where they may be mild enough that people just don't realize that they're sick. They may have a slight cough, an itchy, scratchy throat, et cetera. But so it's not like there's lots of people out there who have no symptoms whatsoever. So in terms of exposure, doctor, there's, there's people, there's social distancing, but there's also surfaces, plastic, cardboard, metal. Do we have any idea of how long the virus can live on those surfaces? Well, you know, uh, again, we're learning more about this virus and we're extrapolating from what we know about influenza and what we know about the other coronaviruses. But I think there's actually a growing body that's of information that says that some of what we've been sharing actually hasn't been correct. Mm -hmm. Number one is, is that this virus moves a lot further than six feet away from people. So that if I'm in a crowded room, I may very well be breathing in the air of someone who is infected, doesn't even know it, and now I'm infected. Second of all, the surface issue, I think, has been uh, greatly overplayed. Uh, and that, uh, you know, it, for one reason, it makes us feel good to know that we can wash our hands. But I think we've carried it to the extreme. For example, all this deep cleaning and all the uh, video you see of people cleaning in the streets probably has very, very little to do with stopping transmission. Boy, doctor, the virus can, yes, boy. survive on a surface, but, but it's, not, it's not likely highly infectious at all. Boy, Dr. Osterholm, the more we hear, the worse it, it sounds. You know, Dr. Fauci said yesterday, if people think we're overreacting, that's a good thing. But I see so many people are saying, are, are, are we taking things too far? What can you say to people to let them know you've got to take this very, very seriously? The precautions you take yes, matter. Well, yeah, I think uh, I, I might have a slight disagreement with my good friend Tony that I don't think that's called overreaction. I think what we want to do is do what makes a difference, straight talk with people that tell them what makes a difference, and then when we don't know, so say so. I mean, a good example today is that we I don't really have the data that supports that uh, this is a problem in school children of them transmitting the virus to each other than bringing it home like we do with flu. Absolutely have that with flu. And there are downsides to closing schools. Uh, we're losing up to 20% of our main health care worker force right now because they have to stay home with kids. So I think All that, right, that um, we want to do everything we can, but we know right now that, uh, uh, that surely it's still going to keep spreading. All right, Dr. Olsterholm, thank you very much. We appreciate it.